How big is your budget? Your shopping budget? <laughs> Let us know. You can go many faced. <laughs> That's next time when you come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can touch it, you can have it. <laughs>
source of the fees. It's a non honey. It's a special product, diabetes and cancer medicine. Royal jelly, it's super food. Many people never seen real life. Many countries in the world do not produce royal jelly. I'm joking. <laughs> I am in Thailand. Um, and I uh, arrived yesterday. And it's been eventful. It has been pretty fun. Um, and it's been quite the fulfilling experience. But I'll get into that a bit later in the video. I just want to say welcome, 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 welcome. And I'm so excited um, to start this vlog. I'm so excited to start this new episode of Poetic Lens. I hope you've been watching the other episodes. If you haven't, go back and watch. <laughs> and remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. It's my turn. I'm taking my space. To be so mad about my life and what it came to So I made some decisions with more precision and cleared my vision Now I see where I'm going to So I raise my glass to 
to the gladiators who get their paper and mice they hate her. Ke khorata ka le rata la love one tar Babang bare ke go nganya blind blind I'm first dad We have a bit of a rest day today, so I'm sure that it's not going to be too busy. Hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, no, let's, let's enjoy ourselves. And I hope you continue to watch this vlog. And let's go. Oh, yeah, before we leave, um, this is the Hulapil merch. If you haven't got it already, make sure you get it. The link is in the description below. Um, yeah. It comes in different colors, sizes, uh, that you prefer. There's also sweaters. And yeah, I'm wearing mine today. Making sure that Hola Bewe is in a pocket, Thailand. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Hola Bewe means uh, the seed must grow. And it really speaks to making sure that your dreams come alive, making sure that you reach your full potential, making sure that you go after your goals, whatever those goals are for you. Um, yeah, putting in the work and really going after them with everything that you have within you. And yeah, so let's go for breakfast and I'll catch up with you a bit later. As you can see here, it is. Ours is here now. We embrace it with every inch of our being, reaching outward from within towards what we have never seen. Word on the street is that I got it for you. Word on the street.
<laughs> um, today is the last day, uh, our last day in Phuket, Thailand, and we are making our way back to uh, Bangkok. But before we leave this morning, I felt like I should take a moment of reflection. Um, as you've seen in in my previous videos, I like to include like a moment of reflection. So while I'm still in my feels <laughs> about this trip, I thought let me just take a video quickly and then continue packing and then head out. Um, I think let me start with why I took this trip. Um, I have been on a few international trips with my family before and that was exciting I mean you know that has always been fun and um, just seeing new places meeting new people you know experiencing new things um, and different you know being exposed to different cultures and ways of living and all of that but this is my first international solo trip and so it was different for me and first obviously I was really scared to take the trip on my own uh, simply because one I'm a woman <laughs> from South Africa and obviously there's so many mental barriers but there's only also many real factors yeah, that you have to consider um, when you're making decisions about your life um, not only that but I think there was also a lot of fear in my mind as to what will happen will i be able to survive will I find my way around um a different country you know will i be able to communicate um, will i have fun <laughs> and so far i've had such a great time i've had a lot of fun but at the same time i've also had you know moments or pockets of time to just reflect on why I'm here and some of the lessons I've learned and I'd like to sort of share some of them with you. <laughs> um, I think the first thing was I didn't realize or I always known that some of the you know limitations that I had set for myself were not necessarily circumstantial limitations or real limitations. A lot of the limitations that I'd set for myself existed within my own mind. And coming here has removed so much of that because, you know, once you do like things that you fear, you know, you want to do more of the things that you fear the most. And so you become more courageous you become more bold and I found that if over the past few days I've managed to let go of things that I couldn't let go of before I've managed to make decisions that I couldn't make before I've managed to also reclaim my own self-worth and self-identity as as a woman as Gwena and as a global citizen <laughs> and really find my way around who am i why am i here what do i want to do what do i want to achieve in my own life and it has been quite liberating you know and a lot of the limitations exist within our, in our own mind which is so scary because the mind can be such a powerful tool to achieve so many great things but at the same time the mind can be such a prison and so I just wanted to take a moment to encourage you to do the things that you fear most and don't set any kind of limitation on yourself because you have all that you need within you and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to to, to be here um because it has done so much for me um one it's so far away from home so i don't know anybody here 
nobody knows me here and and there's something empowering about that you know and, and there's also something liberating about that because then you can let go of the i guess the titles the labels that you've sort of given yourself and come back refreshed um i do have fears of going back home even though it's been such a short period of whether i'll meet my old self the things that i didn't necessarily like but i know now that i know what those things are i'm more self-aware and so even if those things come up i feel like i'll be able to acknowledge them and move past them and so just this short trip i think has empowered me to go after the things that i want with confidence knowing full well that i will achieve them and yeah <laughs> that's literally it and so yeah so i think that's all i have to say today but i'm sure there'll be another reflection moment um in bangkok or after bangkok or when i return back home um but yeah i will see you soon and let's go <laughs> beautiful modern uh, space and then you have I guess the, the sink situation and I guess it's like because it's the city I'm assuming it's about using the space wisely um, and then yeah and it's the shower oh, this is cute very interesting setup. So yeah. But those buildings. 
We are off to the market today. Um, I'm a bit tired. I'm not feeling too good, but we are here, so we're gonna push through. Um, so I just want to say what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, and I'm gonna take you along with me. <laughs> um, hope you enjoy the vlog, and let's, let's go. This is my outfit for today. It's patrolled. Not trying to do too much, just comfortable. Ladies, <laughs> we are here at the train market or railway market that's named Meklong. The market is start from here, the train from other station. Now, the hello! <laughs>
It's my turn, I'm taking my space When I get down, it's my turn, I'm taking my space Knock it down, it's my turn, I'm taking my space
so um, we've reached the end of the Thailand trip <laughs> like these are the last few hours in Bangkok and when I head to the airport and yeah it's been a really wholesome trip I think traveling really brings about perspective just helping to declutter the mind you know help helping you know to me helping you to make decisions right about things that you you, you couldn't necessarily um, make decisions about when you were still at home or still in the environment that you were in before um yeah i've met so many cool people I've had so many awesome experiences and I think I don't in so many ways uh, I'll never be the same again <laughs> um, yeah this trip was really one of those trips that I didn't expect to be so good for me um, I thought it was just another you know vacation we'll see what happens when we get there but I think this one was really life changing for me I think I made a lot of like decisions that I you know couldn't make before and I'm quite clear on a lot of things of, on what I need and what I want and yeah and I'm really really proud of myself <laughs> for, for being able to travel so far from home because I was really scared about that um, and just overcoming those fears you know realizing that the world is so big there's so much to see um so many people so many more people to meet so many more experiences you know to go through so much life to live um and also it helped me appreciate what i have you know i think being south african and coming from where I come from like I appreciate so much you know I appreciate what I have more and I really I guess yeah I appreciate what I have more like I appreciate what I have a lot more and it has really brought things into perspective for me as to what is important what matters and how I should move forward so anyways I I do encourage you know you to sort of take a step out of your normal daily routine whether it's even going on a short left somewhere <laughs> even if it's like an hour drive somewhere just to get perspective um I think it's such an important thing because sometimes when you're in a situation you're really in it and you don't necessarily see things from other other points or other perspectives and it, it may be worthwhile for you to view things from a different perspective so yeah um here's one last thing uh, please remember to like this video share this video subscribe to this channel and join the Holy clan um, the Holy Clan is definitely going to be growing, as we should be, <laughs> pun intended. And um, look out for more uh, exclusive content and other cool things to come. And um, I will see you next time. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm so grateful for every one of you who've taken the time to take a look into my life a little bit and yeah i'll see you bye
gonna get free lunch, free lunch. <laughs> and then when we got there, you we were like, oh, this is why it's free. Mmm. That place probably got a tender. Mm. For that. It's like, I think so. And it's like really like basic, basic. Like. And the way Bob is with Bob. Okay. Yeah. He made it sound like that. Wow. You know? But he did one as he said there's no KFC. There's no whatever. <laughs> I always want her to stay, but for now I say thank you.